Hello and welcome back guys. Today we have a very unique mock-up that is Cosmetics Product Brand Packaging Mock-up. Alright, so this is basically based on the levels uh, and there are several products but I will be showing you three products uh, how to do it and after that you can do it on your own and to download the uh, PC files of the mock-up. Now, let's start. By pressing Ctrl plus we will just zoom in the picture and then we'll select the paint tool and then select the parts that we want to keep the levels on we'll select those parts roughly with the paint tool later on we will adjust the curves with the an anchor point tool then we'll decrease the opacity and we'll take the add anchor point tool and add the point and take the curves prominent here. Nope. I press in control. We will go in the background layer and we'll take a solid color. So you can see there is a sharpness in the borders. What we'll do? We'll double click on the mask and we'll go and increase the feather level a little more. So the edges will be smoothed out and blurred a little. Okay. And press OK. And then we will switch off the solid color and shape one. Here we don't need them anymore. And then we will draw a rectangle on the level. We will right click on it and then convert it to smart object. And by Ctrl T, you can select the RAF option. And then we will uh, select the beige option from the custom. And then we can urge it as we want. And then by pressing Ctrl, select the mask and then select the smart object and then press on the masking part. And so the whole bottle will be, the smart object will be out, right? And then as we'll press our design on the smart object by dragging and dropping it on the smart object. And then we will save the image and the image will be updated in the main page. And we'll need this shape one and the solid color layer because we don't need them anymore and the smart object for the smart object we will rename it as you can place your design or the design whatever for your benefit i am doing this just so it is easier for you to understand where to place your design and then we will press in the right click on it and just select the red part so it is highlighted and understandable that this is editable and then we will go and we'll double click on this layer and then go and adjust the blending point. So right, the blending point will be open the moment you double click on it. And then we'll adjust it. For this mock-up, we will not take light, mid-tone or shadow. And we'll be just handling the texture and the lighting of this mock-up with the blending textures. Once you are done and satisfied, we'll just press OK. And from normal, we'll convert it to multiply to be get a better effect so as you can see the smart object has the light, mid-tone and shadow all the effects at once right now we will go to the second bottle and by taking the paint tool and zooming in selecting it then adding points and making the curves prominent with add anchor point tool then all the stuffs that we did in the first bottle we will do it for the second one too we will as i told you before that i will be showing you three for you and the rest you can do on your own if you have any queries you can drop down in the gun box this is a very easy mock-up that we are trying to show you it's very easy ways compared to the other mock-ups that we do and the other processes the elaborate process we go through we have shortened it for all Alright. 
we're trying to show you uh, how you can get all the texture of light metal and shadow without that hideous step that elaborate it take from you know now on so but this that is very easy and easy to understand but yeah this is a little complicated but you can understand it nicely if you observe carefully then we have taken a smart uh, rectangle and then we'll convert it to smart object change the color and we'll take uh, the mask select the masking part of the solid color layer and by while the smart object is there selected we'll press on the masking option again all right so there will be a second masking and then again we will be changing this name to renaming it as place your mod or place your pattern and then again we'll just place our design on the smart object as we want by pressing ctrl t you can just adjust the patterns and design to the middle aligning and then save the image all the time as i've told you every time in other mockups too that you need to save the image or else the image of the smart object won't be updated in the main one and then by pressing double click on it you can just go to the blending option and then adjust the points Once you're satisfied, you can press OK. So as you can see, two bottles has their labels on. I'll show you another one. Uh, now this time I'll show you a can to show you, just so you have the idea. Now we will select an oval. By pressing Shift, we will place it. Alright, by pressing shift we will be drawing it just so it is a round, exact round shape that we need. Alright, and then we will place it on top of the level. We need to make it a little bigger. By pressing ctrl T we can just adjust the size later. And then decrease the opacity just so you can see the lid. And make sure this whole oval uh, or the circle covers the whole leaf of your product all right and now we will switch on the sleeve and then we will draw a uh, rectangle by pressing our shift all right then we will be pressing the shift to make it a proportionally square shape all right then we will be placing it properly just so it covers the whole lid and then by again increasing the opacity we can just convert it to smart object and then by con pressing control and mask we can just mask the uh, smart object and then we can just delete the shape that you have drawn and then again pressing double click on it you can go and decrease the uh, i mean increase the feather option just so you don't have the sharp edges and then again go and press uh, your Place your design on the level of the smart object and then by adjusting it, press on the save button and then as you can see, uh, the uh, picture will be updated here in the main page and then again we will highlight it and name it as press the design here and then by pressing the double save on it and we just adjust the blending as you do and press ok and zoom out so as you can see three levels are there and similarly you can just do the other levels too once you do all of them you will be done with all this particular mockup so that's it for today you can do them as a group you can do each word product separately so yeah Hope you have liked it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.